Hello students, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishash. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry the Mystery of Molecules. So today's topic of discussion is about the reaction of an ether molecule. So you can see this is the molecule. Here the reaction happening with Ki in acetone, pretty easy and you have to say what is the major product of this reaction. And here four options are provided and one of them is the right answer. I request you students please pause the video, try by yourself and whatever answer you get please write in the comment box along with few words as explanation. Don't worry, remember self-evaluation is essential for improvement and that's why you should try. I believe you have tried by yourself, so it's my turn to give you the right answer. Now, let's look at or read the problem little carefully. See, con reaction condition is pretty easy. So, if we focus on the starting material or reagent, our life will be simpler. And if we can focus on it with more attention, it will be easier. So, these molecules have two nitro groups in meta position. And this carbonyl group is also meta with respect to this and it is also in conjugation. And fourth point, this oxygen is in para and octo position with respect to this 2 nitro. So, so question where the reaction may happen. But before we do this, what Ki can do? It's nothing but a salt, means K plus and I minus. Actually, this potassium iodide has a very unique property, remember, student. Ki is soluble in acetone. So, it is although a salt, but it is soluble in acetone because acetone is a polar molecule. First of all, it is soluble in acetone and if you look at the acetone molecule, it looks like this. And actually, it has a canonical form you can draw in this way that this is O minus and carbon is plus. So, from this one thing I can conclude that this O minus is delta negative and it has a charge density and this charge density could be donated to potassium plus cation and in this way this cation could be stabilized. Now, if you can stabilize the cation, so what will happen? The anion, I mean iodide, it became free. We know that iodide is a good nucleophile, obviously it's true and not only that, under this special reaction condition was solvating the cation, so indirectly anion becomes further or even more nucleophilic. So, its nucleophilic attack will happen. Now, so let us learn how the reaction happens. So, in this case, this iodide, which is the nucleophilic atom, attacks here. Okay. So, now you can ask one question that sir, why it will attack here? It is expected that it will attack here, nucleophilic attack. So, path number, for example, let us consider this is 1. So, if this follows, then what is the product? Just look at it. So, this is the nitro. So, 2 nitro are 2 different sides. This. And it attacks, nucleophilic attack means it will open up. O minus I. And you can see this. Now, after that, there could be another thing you can imagine. Do not worry. I know it is wrong, but still I am giving the counter argument. So, it will open. So, I mean negative charge will come here. What is the stability? No stability almost because first of all, the negative charge is on carbon atom which is less electronegative. Point number one. And second point, I can say that it is not that much stable because the product is a acid iodide type. It's not stable. So, this path not followed. Now, what second path possible? Now, second path is this blue path or path number 2. What can happen here? So, it will attack here and it can leave. It is a simple SN2 type reaction. Okay. And iodide is, a, iodide is a good nucleophile. So, it can do this reaction very efficiently. Not only that, this carbon center where the nucleophilic attack is happening it is not that much bulky. Okay. So, actually if I say it is a primary carbon because it is attached to only one carbon, I mean this carbon, so it is a primary carbon. So, SN2 reaction can happen efficiently on this center. So, in this way what it will do? It will attack and these O minus will come out. So, it will result in this. Actually, it is a ring opening reaction and it will produce this O minus. Now, a simple question that sir, how O minus is stabilized? So, you can consider that it can come here in this way, this nitro can stabilize, one option. Second, if you do not think in that way, so it will push, it will go, it will go. So, this second nitro can stabilize. Just imagine this, there are two nitro groups, 
which can stabilize or delocalize this extra charge or this negative charge on oxygen atom. So means it means that this negative charge is stabilized and that is stood in the driving force of this reaction. So after workup means this quench of this potassium uh, you may consider phenoxide derivative after relatively acidic workup it will produce these alpha iodo this alcohol this nitro containing okay so this is the product now what is the answer of today's discussion discussion option b is the answer now now question if you don't know the answer how can you come to the right answer less than 30 seconds if you don't know the exact reaction okay so in this context uh, logic is that as remember, SN2 reaction on alpha halocarbonyl is better and this is a carbonyl and this is the alpha position. So nucleophilic attack is possible, point number one. Second thing, the leaving group is stabilized because in SN2 reaction, two points are very much important. One is nucleophile and another is leaving group. Okay. So, in this case, the nucleophile is obviously better, it is iodide, but the leaving group is also stabilized because O minus in resonance with these two, so will be stabilized. Actually, not two, even this carbonyl will help to stabilize this charge also. Okay. So, not possible, but if you do not know, then what options you can think? You can think another option that sir, these iodide can attack here, this position, you can think in this way. But still, student, it will result in carbon iodine bond, aromatic carbon iodine, which is not that much stable compared to if it attacks here, this alpha position, O minus means oxygen carbon bond is far more stable, student, because they belong to same row. So that's why these option gone. Second thing, just iodo attach, but ring that did not broken. It's not possible. Because I have taken iodide, not iodine, that like through enol type intermediate, uh, enolate type reaction. No, 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 this is illogical option. Now, another option you can see this nucleophilic attack on carbonyl acid iodide. I have explained previously that this is also not stable, so it will not be produced. So, only option B is left, so this is the right answer. So, in conclusion, what you have learned today that iodide ion is a good nucleophile due to softness and Ki is soluble in acetone and because of this solubility and coordination with this potassium, reactivity of the nucleophile enhances. After the SN2 reaction, the phenoxide derivative is stabilized by resonance by the minus R effect of two nitro groups in both ortho and para position along with the carbonyl group, I told, which is also in ortho position. Between this carbonyl iodine and carbon oxygen bond, the second one, this carbon oxygen bond is relatively more stable due to proper overlap between the orbitals. Now, remember this five member ring, which we talked, this five member ring attached to two sp2 center, I mean attached to benzene, this five member ring attached to benzene have significant ring strain. Not only that, it is attached to another carbonyl group, so it is also sp2 hybridized. So, have significant ring strain and which is released after the completion of this reaction. So that's why it goes and remember alpha halocarbonyls are very active for SN2 reaction. I've already uploaded a dedicated lecture on this. Please visit for better understanding. So this is the end of the discussion. I believe this video will be useful. If you really enjoy the content of my channel, please help this channel to grow. And if possible, please visit my another channels. So see you in my next video. Bye-bye.